My name is Anders Jensen. Let's learn some LeapWork RPA. Today we will see how we can do multiple API calls, how we can pass JSONs, and finally how we can write the results to Excel. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel to get all the new videos about LeapWork and RPA. So let's get started. We have an Excel sheet here, and uh, we got some ideas in it. We got a title column, we got release date, and we got a director. And uh, we got seven rows with seven unique ideas. Each idea corresponds to a Star Wars movie. So this is the first Star Wars movie, second, third, and so forth. We want to do, uh, we want to have leap work to do uh, API calls and get the titles, the release dates, and the director of each of the movies. We could of course let our robot work in the uh, user interface. However, that will uh, first it will be very slow and it will won't be very robust to errors. So that's why we'll make the API call. So um, and let's uh, if, uh, look at the API. This is the Swarpy code. That's a Star Wars API, and um, we can go here to films. And uh, there's a lot of information. We can uh, look at people, planets, starships, and whatever. But we'll look at the films. And this is the first film. And this down here is the results that we are getting back. So we can see here that we got the title. That's A New Hope. Release date. That's uh, 25th of May 1977. And then the director. That is George Lucas for this movie. So far, so good. So we want to get that. Let's go to um, Liebborg RPA, and what we'll do is that we'll create a new flow, like this. So create a new flow, and we could call this uh, API calls, like this. So we got a blank canvas here. So first we will uh, read our Excel sheet, and then we will will iterate through each of these ideas. So uh, let us uh, have a read Excel. We will select the data file to read and let us just close the Excel down. So select import new file and then specify where your Excel sheet is. Mine is here. Then we will define the range and the range that is this range. And the first row is a header. That's the idea. Then click save. We can see here now that we got the ID column here. Then click expand. The method that will we will not read first row, we will iterate through each row, so choose iterate like this. Then we can see here we have a Q and index, and then we will have a completed. This keeps track on where what um, index we're in, what row we're in, and this one is just when we are completed, we can make something happen. Let's make a pass whenever we are completed with the flow. Like this. Otherwise we will just get a fail each time we will run it. So um, now we will do a HTTP request and what we'll do is that we'll use uh, this address as the static part of it. And then this one is the dynamic, the number one, because you can see here if we change this to number three, then we will get uh, the third movie and that's uh, some other directors and another title of course. So uh, let me copy this one, the static part we will copy and the dynamic part we'll get from Excel. So uh, then we will drag out uh, HTTP request like this. The URL, let me drag this guy out. The URL, that's just the static part. And then what we'll do is click expand. Then we'll add a text field and that one will be our idea. So um, we can go here to field. Let's change this, this to idea. And then what we'll do is that the idea we get from Excel, we will connect that to um, our HTTP request here, and don't forget to go up here uh, in the last part of the URL, right click, insert token, and the idea. So then we'll get the idea added to here. So far, so good. And then we can write it out. First, we will just uh, have a log message so we can see how our results look like, and then we can uh, try to um, pass the JSON. So uh, that is, we get a JSON from here and we can see what format is in. So change this method to get. And then we will have, um, we can uh, go, uh, we can drag this guy out here and then we can have a log message like this. 
and we will write in the log message whatever we, we get here from the HTTP request. So go down to response and we'll have the response body. So we'll drag this guy in here, the log message. And now we are actually done. So now we just, uh, we will get, we will do a lookup for each of the movies and then we will have a response body and we can uh, ch inspect our data to see what we actually want to get out of it. So uh, now we run it, we ran it, and we just wait a few seconds. And we can see here that for each of the movies, uh, row four or whatever, we get another movie. So here we can see that we get, uh, let me ex let's take the last one and then click expand. We can see that this is what we get. We get um, a title and uh, the Force Awakens, whatever, whatever, whatever. Oh, sorry. And we can um, we can copy the selected frames. And let me just try to open a notepad. Let me drag this guy in, and we can uh, paste it in here. So um, what we what we want to do is that we will uh, let me just delete this log because we won't get the log file here. And so so uh, to here. From there, in the curly brackets, that's what we get uh, when we do the HTTP request. However, there's no JSON deserializer in Rework, so we gotta make another uh, workaround or little trick. And what we'll do is that we do some regex. We will tell, uh, we, uh, by regular expression, we will tell uh, Rework to look behind this and ahead of this. So um, that's a this, that's the title, right? And we'll do the same thing for release date and director. So let me copy this. That's what we get here um, from the data. And we'll uh, go to a regex tester online. I'll use regex R, but uh, you can take whatever you want. Then we'll go here, delete what's, it, what's in and paste our JSON. So here we can see that what we want to get out is still the force awakens. So let's see how that is done. Up here, we can write the regex code. If you're not familiar with Regex, I will recommend you to watch my guide. There's a link to it in the description. Um, so go watch that and you'll learn all the fundamentals so you can understand this. Otherwise, we'll move ahead. So let us delete the expression. And what we'll do here is that we'll tell Regex to look, or Libwork, that's where we uh, paste the Regex to, we'll tell it to uh, look behind our title and then the colon. So uh, we'll make a uh, positive look behind. And that one will look like this. And then we can uh, paste in what we want to have, um, have it to look behind. So that is the title. And then we got a quotation mark like this. And then we got a colon. So, um, and we will have to escape that. So uh, let's say colon here. And then we got another quotation mark like this. So now we are telling uh, Regex to look behind all this and then we will do or uh, we'll tell regex what to look for and that's just uh, any character it's the first um, thing here in the title and then uh, any number of characters after that and then we will have a lazy capture and then we will say that we need to look ahead of this because uh, we will look, have to look ahead of this quotation mark here like this, and then we'll just need a parenthesis, and what's wrong, another parenthesis here. So now we can see that we get the title out, and the syntax will be similar to uh, throughout all the films, right? We get the same uh, JSON back. So let's copy this uh, regular expression, and then we can work in le we leap work. So um, let's edit this, and what we'll have to do here is that we, we make the HTTP request first, so uh, that's fine. And then we will, uh, instead of a log message, we will have a regular expression on what we get out. Remember, what we got out was the thing we saw in the log and we just edited it. So we'll do regular expression on that and drag out the title. So let's see how that is done. Let us delete this and then find a regular expression here. And uh, I strongly encourage you to do the operations yourself in Leapwork. Just pause the video or rewind a bit while we do it. So first, We'll have the text and the expression. We can expand it a bit. And sorry, sorry, the expression. 
Well, that's just uh, what we uh, got here from our regex editor. So that's uh, that's is this title thing here, the text. That's the that was the body that we got from over here. So like this, and then we can um, write in the result in a uh, log message maybe. Um, so we can have the result going in a log message here. So uh, we could we will end up writing it to Excel. However, we will first have a log message. And the log message will just be the result from here. So let's try to run this and see that it actually worked. So now the deep work will make the API calls and we'll get it back uh, in the log message. We'll just wait a few seconds. And we can see here that we got uh, each of the titles. So we made uh, we made it actually. So uh, a new hope is the first one, then the Empire Strikes Back, Return of the Jedi, and so on. So that's good. Now we just need to write it into Excel. So um, what we'll do here is that we'll, instead of a log message, delete that and we'll have a write Excel like this. And the path, that's our the path of our Excel file. That's the Star Wars. We'll open that. We'll define the range. So where will we write to? We'll write to this title, use first reverse header and save. And we can click expand here. And so first we'll need to specify what we will write in. And that's just the result we got from this regular expression, like this, and the row index. So right now it will just write everything in row one, so we'll overwrite, over row write. However, here in this read Excel, in this iteration, we have a current index. So uh, for the first one, that will that will be, uh, so first one will be one, two, three, four, five, and we'll just uh, connect these two things so that we can um, keep track of where we have gotten to. So this uh, should work. We will now type in the title in our Excel sheet. So now we run it <clears throat> and we will wait a few seconds and then we will update our Excel sheet. So um, wait a bit more, wait a bit more and now we're done. So uh, we can go down to our Excel sheet here, Star Wars Excel sheet. <clears throat> Open the Excel sheet and we can now see that we got the tile nice and uh, smooth in our Excel sheet, right? That was quite uh, easy. And we can do the same thing for release date and director. So let's close this one again and open deep work. We can edit it here. And what we'll do is that we'll just uh, expand our range here so we'll have a regular expression and then a right excel again let me move this this one a little bit closer so it will be easier to look at so after doing this then we will just do the exact same thing here so we'll do another regular expression on what we get here regular expression like this and then we can um, we can um, let us uh, do um, we will uh, sorry we will type in the text that's for, uh, again the response body like this and then we will have the pattern so let me expand this the pattern that will just be um, instead of title let's look at what we get here so what we now want we want the release date right and uh, the release date. We'll need to find it, that's here. And it's the same syntax as up here. We'll just change title to release date, like this. So the expression, oh sorry. The expression is that we'll uh, copy this expression and then we'll just, instead of title, we'll write release date, like this. And then we can uh, just have a write Excel one more time. And what we'll do here is that we will um, have a um, have a right Excel. Sorry, I was sleeping a bit. Um, let me just drag this guy in here. And the path that's still our Excel sheet. Star Wars here, like this. The range that will be the release date, like here. Use first row as header. It's fine. And then the result that will be uh, the release date, so right here. And then we just need to connect again the current index with this row index, like this. So now 
we can uh, let's open the Excel sheet and delete um, what we got so far. So see that we can actually write two columns, and we will have this delete. So now it's just empty. We will close it down, and then we'll run the leap work. We'll wait a few seconds and have Leapwork do the operations. <clears throat> now we're done. We can go down to um, our Excel sheet to see that we actually wrote in the uh, lead states. Boom. We got the release dates. We can see here that there's a new hope, then the Empire Strikes Back and to the Force Awakens. Now we just need the director and we'll use, we'll use the same syntax as we did with title and release date. So let's close the Excel sheet and then we'll get the director. We just need to find it. It's just this director with small letters instead of release date and title. So we can make that happen. Let me um, move the canvas a bit. To here. So first we will have a regular expression, right? And um, from here, regular expression. Let me expand this. The text that will just be the response body that we got from over here. The expression that will just be uh, same expression as before. We just uh, change this to a director. like this, and then we will have a right Excel. Oh, I hope you understand it, the syntax now. That's why I made it three times. And so we will write the Star Wars and we will uh, choose the find range. And that'll be the director column. Use first row as header. And then we'll connect the result with director. And uh, we will no, let me, now we need to uh, connect the current index with the row index over here. <sighs> Sorry, like this. So now we we did it three times, and we can run it, and we can we will write everything to each of their rows in the uh, in the right columns as well. So we'll just wait a few seconds. We are updating our Excel sheet now. And this is a, a much more smooth way than having the robot work in the UI. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. That will really help me a lot. So uh, now we are done, hopefully. So uh, let's go to our Star Wars Excel sheet to see that we completed the mission. Boom. Here we go. Title, release date, release date, director. Everything is right and we're done. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel to get all the new videos about Leapwork and RPA. That's it. Have a good day. Bye-bye.